Welcome back to Evolution Auto Works. Today we're going to get back on our 4040 Pro. I picked up a Y extension kit for it and we're going to do something about this spoil board and clamping system. The extension kit came with everything we needed from the framework to the drive screws and even came with new hardware for everything that we had to remove. I had to disassemble the entire machine, which was pretty straightforward except for one part. The set screws on the drive motors were actually put in with some crazy good thread locking adhesive that I had to get a torch and warm up before I could get them out. From this point, it was just a matter of reading the instructions and putting everything back together the way it was laid out in the book. I will say, pay attention to the book because it does have instructions for the X axis and the Y axis. And at some point I realized I was following the wrong instructions and had to backtrack a little bit. So make sure you follow the correct instructions for the kit that you're installing if you're not doing both. With that screw back down onto the table, I think the only thing left to do is get everything cleaned up in this mess. <laughs> get my computer hooked back up, make sure everything's gonna work out right. And then we're gonna move on to building the new spoil board. Now with the extension installed, I went ahead and turned everything sideways and just kind of centered it up on the table to make more room. Uh, with that, I didn't have room for the computer anymore, so I moved it up here, used some hardware for an RV table. Uh, actually gives me a kind of a movable work platform. Should work out pretty well, keep it out of the dust at least. From there, I needed to replace these. This was the original base plate, which as you can see is now too short because it's the same length as the original Y axis. So what I did, I laid down a base of three quarter inch plywood, screwed that to the table, and then put this three quarter inch MDF over top of that. And it is bolted to the machine at the ends. And then I went over here on the edges and just tacked a couple screws in just to make sure it couldn't move. And we'll lay another piece of half inch MDF over top of that for our actual spoil board. Then we can figure out our new hold down system. So we'll get the whole, get our spoil board going here and then we'll work on that. The new spoil board is taped and screwed. I put the screws around a perimeter because I have actually seen once this is surfaced, I've seen them pull up. I guess moisture gets into there and it, it just curled and pulled the tape right off. So I uh, decided to go ahead and put some screws around the outer perimeter of it. Those are sunk down nice and deep so I won't accidentally hit them with a bit. Now we can go into Vectric, write a program to run the flattening pattern on this and we'll load it up and get it done. First pass done, it looks pretty good. It's uh, actually didn't touch anything in this corner or this corner. Took quite a bit off back here. So we're definitely flattening the board out. Uh, next thing I wanna do is actually tram this to make sure it's cut and square. And then we'll run one more pass on that. So I don't really have a fancy tramming tool or anything. I've actually just taken a piece of plywood, put two quarter inch carriage bolts in with some nuts. And this end's gonna go in my collet and then we'll show you how that works. So what I've been using to flatten it is just this, uh, it's a bin stack, one inch, three wing cutter. Uh, it's just for flattening boards out. So I'll leave a link down in the description. You can pick one of those up from Amazon if you need it. All right, now we'll run that down. And yes, I did unplug the router just for safety's sake. I'll get it down the rest of the way with the hand crank on top here. All right, so it's touching on this side. It's touching there. It's not touching in the back. It's not touching on that side. So, so it needs to go that way ever so slightly. I made some adjustments to the router mount until the tramming tool was touching all the way around and then I ran the flattening pattern one more time to make sure it was flat. With that all flattened out, I've still got a little, little low spot over here. We can hear it just barely touching, but it didn't cut anything. I'm not really worried about that because most of our work's gonna be done down here anyway. So now I'm gonna go into Vectric and lay out a bunch of dog holes and then we'll come back and set the router up so it'll cut everything out. At first, I only ran the dog holes a half inch deep into the spoil board, but they just didn't seem strong enough, so I came back and ran them another quarter inch down into the subplate. I think that's going to make these a little more stable. I didn't 
Didn't think they were uh, gonna hold up too well just in that half inch top plate. So on top of that, I came back, ran some dados and recessed some, some of this aluminum track, T-track down inside. I just have a feeling that uh, this isn't gonna be the be all end all for everything I need and felt like I was gonna need some hold down clamps at some point. And another thing I found, just random, randomly picked up a piece of wood here and that is too far away to actually be useful. So they'll use these, use the wedges on the sides. So that actually clamps in nice and fast. I put this fence around the inside. Um, that way I have a constant zero point so I can always set everything in that same spot down into the left. I think with that, put one of these in place. I think that would pretty much do everything. The only problem I've ever had with these is a lot of the times this hits it and just gets in the way. Um, so that was why I wanted to go to the dogs to start with, just to have, a, just to have some options. This way I can uh, go with whatever works best at the time. All right, so that's gonna finish it up for this one. Uh, I think this is gonna work out great. So we'll see what kind of new projects we can come up with on the larger platform and uh, stick around for that. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.